Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a little update for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Well, as many of you know, we're getting the deluge of CinemaCon news this week. And at the festival in Las Vegas, the team from Sony actually showed their first 15 minutes of the upcoming film. Most of the details have made it online, so let's take a couple minutes to break down what's going on in this movie and what we actually found out from the event. Now before we dive in though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, the big giveaway. We're going to give away this Oculus Quest 2 at 50,000 subscribers. All you need to do to get in on the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us a comment. Well, like I was saying, we're getting CinemaCon 2022 this week, and it's a huge event for movies. Now, this is typically where we get a lot of really cool announcements and details, and the team from Sony did not disappoint. Now, they actually gave us over 15 minutes of footage from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So, I thought we could take a couple minutes to break down what they showed us. Now, in case you didn't know, the movie has been pushed back to 2023, with the sequel, which was called Part 2, pushed to 2024. Now, I say was called Part 2 because we did find out the name of that film, and it's going to be called Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, the details on the footage is pretty interesting, so we'll just run right down the list and talk about each one. Apparently, the film opens on Earth-65, which is where Gwen Stacy lives. The Vulture is attacking the Guggenheim Museum, but is Italian and is actually decked out in some armor that the description says makes him look like a gladiator. Now, Spider-Gwen is apparently a wanted fugitive on this world and is being hunted by her own dad, Captain George Stacy. At this point, Miguel O'Hara, aka Spider-Man 2099, arrives on the scene and helps defeat the villain, and confirms he's actually from another reality. Miguel also reveals that the heroes actually broke the multiverse in the first movie, and now there's a hole in it allowing people to cross between worlds. That couldn't play in the other Sony projects, could it? Now, in the same scene, Spider-Woman shows up, who's played by Essa Ray, and this is actually the pregnant version of Jessica Drew many of us saw in the comics. She's actually working with Miguel O'Hara and helps defeat the Vulture. At a point in the footage, Spider-Gwen is confronted at gunpoint by her father and forcing her to unmask. She totally denies killing Peter Parker, but he decides to arrest her anyway. But lucky for her, Miguel arrives on the scene and transports her to another universe. Now, this takes us back to Miles Morales' reality, and he's in trouble the way Miles always is, this time for missing lessons at school. The description of the scene sounds pretty fun because apparently Miles wants to learn to study alternate realities at Columbia University. Now, apparently, that's all that they showed, and obviously there's a lot going on here, but it does give you the basic premise of the film. Apparently the first movie broke the multiverse, and now there's a superhighway between the various realities, meaning Sony might have the absolute perfect pathway to transverse all these spider-verses, combine these characters, and create something unique. So hopefully they don't drop the ball on that. That actually brings us to the second title, Beyond the Spider-Verse. I have seen some suggestion that the end of this whole project could result in these characters all becoming live-action. Now, that's pure conjecture, and maybe not even in the rumor stage yet, but it would be a pretty interesting way for them to go in that direction and explain quite a few decisions Sony has made over the last couple of years as it regards to the villain movies they've been doing. In any case, once we know a little more about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, its upcoming sequel in 2024, or, you know, really anything else Spider-Man, we're going to bring it to you right away. But I gotta know what you guys think. Are you excited for this description of the opening couple of minutes of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse? And what do you think of the idea that the first movie actually broke reality? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and click subscribe. And if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.